I'm on my way with No Ordinary Journey now as their videographer to capture his videos for you. The foundation is run by a elected board. It's an NGO. Here we are upon arrival in Vietnam making some last minute adjustments before the missions start. It's our core team just doing some last minute adjustments to the agenda. We did several hospitals within the cities and several in the country just to get a good coverage of the kind of facilities that are available to the parents who have children with cerebral palsy. Most of the time our teams traveled in one bus so we got to connect well. Other times we would just take taxis if it's within the city. We'd arrive usually by 8 a.m. at each hospital being welcomed by our mission banner. We would meet first with the hospital director and core staff, explain to them what we'll be doing. Usually the parents came in on day one by themselves without their children. We'd orient them, have them sign papers. They would get some introductions. We would all introduce ourselves. Here Laverne's giving her story about Ksenia's CP journey. Here's more orientation. Getting all the parents with the children lined up was quite good considering it was very hot and humid. Most rooms were not air conditioned. The cool thing we did is we had their parents uh, tell us their CP stories. Very touching and moving because some of these parents have never shared these stories in public before. So it gave them a good chance to discuss and share their feelings. Our volunteer staff gave the hospital staff and therapists some core training with overheads with the aid of our local Vietnamese translators. We also delivered 12 wheelchairs to the most needy of children that came in for these workshops. Uh, this is one child receiving a wheelchair and one of our therapist volunteers is showing them how to adjust the wheelchair. Here's a happy boy. That's what the workshops look like. Uh, we took up to 10, 12 parents with their children in a group uh, circular setting, uh, rotating every two hours so that each therapist gets to work with the child one-on-one, -on -one, showing the mother how aids can be used. Here, arm stiffeners are shown. Limb mobility, one of our other doctors also did assessments of the limbs showing how the limbs can grow over time and how they become less rigid and why they need exercise. Final days, we always took a group picture of the parents and the children. It was a, a fun time. I think our group was more excited than they were. Today we were at the uh, rehabilitation hospital in Hue and this afternoon we headed out to visit with some families that have kids with cerebral palsy in their homes. So we're going to see how they actually live and what they actually do. Our whole group isn't going together, we're splitting up and going to five different homes and this part of the project is really more about educating us than it is about educating them. But certainly our therapists and our experts are uh, welcome to talk to the parents about what their issues are, but we wanted to just understand the actual conditions that the kids are living under. This was my first home visit in Hue City, modest setting. Many times the parents will be living with the children or vice versa to help each other out both with the children and financially. Here Catlin is showing the mother what kind of aids the child can use. You can see the child has arm stiffeners on her because her CP affliction affects her arms. Her arms don't have much strength or mobility. The stiffeners will help the child to pull herself up and learn how to stand.